Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 580. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and can you download the workbook, Magic Trick 579 to 581. In this trick here, we have some numbers, and our goal is to extract, by the way, that's formatting, right? Some of them have up to 15 digits, though. But our goal is to extract everything to the right of the decimal place. So here we need 0, 1, 0, 1. Here we need 5, 4, 7, 8, 9. Down here we need all of these digits. So it could be up to 15. 15 is the maximum insignificant digits that Excel can handle. So the first part is going to be, uh, hey, we need to find, in all of these numbers, we need to find that decimal and then hack off everything to the left of the decimal. Then we're left with a bunch of digits. And we'll use the mid, M-I-D function, to extract uh, one number at a time, because the goal is to have them in uh, individual cells. Another trick we're going to see here is I want to be able to see this number, but I don't want to have to scroll over here. So watch this. I'm going to highlight from N, meaning the 14th, all the way over to, say, the uh, fourth one. And I'm going to right click Hide. Now, when I enter the formula in, if I were to put a formula here and copy it over, even though I'm only going from A to O and those ones are hidden right there, the formula will get copied in them. So the first thing is I want to hack off everything to the uh, right here, and it could be variable digits. There's lots of ways to do this. I'm going to use replace. The old text, I'm going to say, hey, look right there, comma. The starting number, well, I always want to go from the first character, even if it's uh, just a, uh, a single decimal. So I'm going to say start number to replace is 1, and ha comma, how many characters to go? Well, we can use the search function. Search function will tell us 2 um, for whatever that decimal is here. Here it will be 3. So I'm going to type search, find the text. The text we're looking for is in double quotes, um, period for decimal, end double quote, comma within this right here. Now let's go ahead and close parentheses and highlight this, and hit the F9 key. You can see it gives us 2. Down here it'll give us 3. Down here it'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to control Z on that. Comma, so replace is just looking here. It's starting at 1, going that far, and now in this case, we're going to go in 2, so now we want a comma, and the new text is going to be double quote, double quote for blank. That means nothing. Close parentheses. Now, that's not going to work because I forgot to lock these. I need to lock this going this way because every one of the formulas is actually going to need to look at these four numbers, and then we'll use a function around it to extract each successive uh, digit as we go this way. But first, we need to lock this, so I'm going to hit my click there and hit the F4 key one, two, three times. One, two, three, four, three times. That means lock this way, but when we go down, it will move to the next number. Control Enter. Copy it over. Double click and send it down. Now, uh, right now, obviously here, that we, we don't want that, but the next part of this, notice each cell has the full digits we need, so now we'll just use the mid that will say extract the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. All right, so I'm going to, um, with all this still highlighted, I'm going to notice that the active cell is right there. I'm going to hit the F2 key. If I edit this and control enter, it'll populate all of these. Now, the only trick is this string right here, are the digits. So around this, I'm going to say, hey, mid function. Mid function, would you please look at that text? And it will be the same in each cell for each row. Please look at that text. And the only trick here is going to be, we're always going to be, we need a start number, but it needs to be a variable start number. So this first one, we need 1, 2, 3, 4. We need the start number to be 1. And then we get over here 2, 3, 4. And I'm not going to put the start number. I'm just going to put number of characters. Hey, each time we are, are extracting only one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one there and close parentheses. Now I'm going to come back here. Now, the only trick is how do we get a number to increment in a formula when we're going across columns? We'll use the columns function. I'm sitting in A2. So I'm going to put dollar sign A because the column is locked to colon A2. 
Now what does columns do? It tells us from A to A how many columns there are. There's one. But this is locked. This is not. So when we go over to the next cell, we'll say A to B, which will be 2. That's exactly the trick we need for mid as the starting number. It'll always take one character. It'll work just fine. By the way, when it gets to the rest of the junk, it'll just leave a blank, which is perfect. I'm going to populate this highlighted range, holding Control and tap Enter. Now you can see it got exactly what we want. I'm going to highlight those, right click, unhide. Now you can see that the formulas actually work. So there, it got those, it got those, it got that, all these, all the way down to even when there are 15, right? So even when there's 15, it worked just fine. Come over here, highlight this. It worked on that one right there. All right, um, extracting uh, all the digits to the right of the decimal using replace search columns and mid. All right, we'll see you next trick.